So can you let people know your name, who you work for and your job title? Hello, my name's Holly Marsden. I work for Aaron Mitchell Solicitors and I'm a delivery manager in Central Change. Brilliant. Welcome, Holly. So can you tell us about a typical day in your current role? Well, a typical day in my current role, well, no two days are actually the same in my role. So it's always really exciting. So you never quite know what's going to happen or what's going to come flying at you out of left field. Um, so I look after items of small change and monitor their progress right through from um, like idea and initiation to implementation. Um, and when things are going to plan, like Happy Path, it, it runs really smoothly and all your planning, all your scheduling, all your forecasting and everything is spot on. And that's a great sense of achievement. But as as life is, sometimes things don't always go according to plan. And at that point, you have to use like your thinking out of the box, your negotiation, your decision making um, and sometimes some risk taking. Um, but yeah, it's it's fun when we have days like that. It keeps keeps me on my toes. <laughs> Excellent. That's fantastic. Never a dull moment. Um, so could you share some of the key moments in your life that have influenced your career, the jobs that you've done and the choices that you've made? Yeah, of course. Um, so I grew up um, in a working man's pub, my parents owned. It's been in the family since my grandparents. Um, my parents didn't go to university. So at that point, when I was at school, I was determined that I would go to university. Um, I did OK in my GCSEs and I did my A-levels in chemistry, biology, physics and frame. Um, but then a bit of sad news, we had a bereavement in the family. One of my grandparents passed away. And at that point, I just couldn't come to terms with having to go to uni and leave my mum and dad and things like that. So I decided to go straight into the world of work. Um, I spent the year floating between bar work and waitressing and hospitality stuff. And then as I got older, I gradually like gravitated towards doing more administrative and office based work. Finally got to be a, an operations manager for some serviced officers in the city centre. And I thought that was that was brilliant. That's me made. This is me for a good few years. Um, then shortly after I came back from maternity leave, I was made redundant from that job. And that was like the worst time in, in the world. I thought I've got a brand new baby. I've just been made redundant. How on earth am I going to like make ends meet? And it was like the world had just collapsed on me. So I was filling in thousands. Well, it felt like thousands and thousands of job applications like you do to um, anything to do with facilities or receptionist or administrative jobs. And actually, while I was on holiday, I got a random phone call um, from the reception manager at Irwin Mitchell. And they were inviting me to interview. So I thought, oh, right, that's that's really good. So I went um, I was successful and got the job as receptionist at IM. And since then, I moved into the IT department um, to cover a colleague's maternity leave. It was only a fixed term contract. So I was taking a bit of a gamble going from a permanent position to FTC. Uh, but luckily, as luck would have it, I got made permanent and got promoted to a PMO analyst and then since then I've worked my way through the I moved into the IT department um, to cover a colleague's maternity leave it was only a fixed term contract so I was taking a bit of a gamble going from a permanent position to a FTC uh, but luckily as luck would have it I got made permanent and got promoted to a PMO analyst and then since then, I've worked my way through the PMO to be a resource analyst and resource manager. And then an opportunity came up in the delivery team to be a delivery manager. And because I wanted something different, I applied for it and thankfully was successful. And that's where I am today. And I'm loving every minute of it. That's fantastic. And I'm going to say it wasn't luck that got you the permanent position, Holly. It it was your dedication, tenacity, your drive, your passion that got you the permanent role. <laughs>